It's the moment young Kelly Murphy turned the corner on his cancer treatment. Back in the fall of 2016, at age 11, Kelly finished six weeks of radiation treatment called proton therapy. The ringing of the chimes marked a significant milestone as Kelly was one of the first to complete treatment at the Proton Therapy Center at Cincinnati Children's. His mom remembers taking that first leap of faith. Not to say that you're not scared. I mean, your kid has cancer. They tell you he has cancer. I mean, yeah, you, you know, your, your, your heart drops into your stomach. You're like, what do you do? Um, they were on it, though. Like, they were like, this is what it is. This is what we're going to do. This is a, the side effects, da, 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 da. Kelly's medical journey began six months prior with a diagnosis of a brain tumor that was causing a buildup of fluid in his brain. He would undergo major surgery, followed by six rounds of chemotherapy. Because of the location of the brain tumor, he became a candidate for proton therapy as the next step. Which in this type of tumor is critical to use because proton beam therapy spares a lot of the structures around the tumor. And so it was really imperative that we use that technology for Kelly. Kelly faced each radiation treatment with a thumbs up. A fitted mask was required and Kelly asked for it to be painted red and black in the form of the Marvel comic superhero named Deadpool. When it came time for the actual treatment, Kelly had to be flat on his back and very still while the proton therapy took place. When you see him in the bay and he's has his mask on and he's laying very still, and you see that large arm essentially rotating around him, what that's doing is that's actually shooting protons at the area of the tumor that we want to treat. The radiation oncologists here are very good at nailing down or honing down on exactly where you wanna to be to within a few millimeters. Fast forward almost two years, Kelly unveils a new look, but still has the same upbeat attitude for life. Considering I was maybe one of the first uh, to do it for children's, I mean, like, it was pretty cool, and it felt like discovering a new frontier, like Lewis and Clark's trip to the West. Seriously, I'm digging that haircut. That's awesome. Kelly returns to Cincinnati Children's for follow-up tests every three months to make sure his tumor hasn't returned. His mom is grateful to his care team. Thank you. You saved my kid's life. And he did it with the utmost professionalism. And you restored my faith in humanity. Finally, something did. Kelly now hopes he can help pave the way for children facing a similar path. That they learn to love people and love their parents and just love life.